with the recent find of emerald ash borer in the Lincoln, Nebraska area, we've been getting a lot of questions about this particular beetle and what people need to be doing now to try and protect their trees. The good news is that you have plenty of time to make a decision, but this is a very pesky insect. It's an invasive beetle. It was accidentally shipped to the United States, probably in some packaging material in the late 1990s. It was first discovered in Michigan in 2002, and it's since spread to over half the United States. We're one of the newer states that's been impacted, and we're gonna have to start making some decisions about our trees. But first, we have to understand the pest a little bit better. And that, to do that, we're gonna have to talk about it's an invasive species that doesn't have a lot of defenses against it here in this country, and it likes to attack ash trees. Those are its food sources. It's not gonna get into maples or oaks or anything else like that. It loves blue ash, white ash, green ash, all the different ash species that we grow here in Nebraska. If you don't protect your tree, it will be lethal to that tree over the course of about seven to 10 years. The larva will feed inside of the cambium layer, which is under the bark. That is the part that transmits nutrients and water throughout the plant. And once they devour all of that, the tree will be kaputsky. If you're trying to figure out what, if your tree is infested, you can look for some symptoms such as epicormic shoots at the base of the tree. Those are extra limbs with extra leaves that the tree is putting out to try and save itself. If you cut a tree down and you see any D-shaped exit holes, or if you start taking the bark off of the tree and you see these winding serpentine tunnels, that's an indicator that emerald ash borer is in that tree that you cut down and may be in some of the ones that are surrounding it. There's been a number of questions from homeowners by, uh, about treatments. Uh, treatments include trunk injections and soil treatments. Uh, we highly recommend though that homeowners go with a professional arborist uh, as they will have better, um, more effective treatments than what's available to homeowners. Um, there are several things to consider if you want to treat your trees for emerald ash borer. Uh, are you within the 15 mile treatment uh, consideration zone, which is basically a zone uh, 15 miles around the known infestations in Lincoln, Omaha, Fremont, or Greenwood. Um, the best time to treat trees is in the spring, so we are recommending that people wait at this time to begin treatments in the spring. A and then finally, um, be selective about the trees that you want to treat. Um, they should be in good health, good condition. They should be sited properly in the landscape. Uh, and they should be valuable to you as a homeowner. Um, if you do not treat your trees, they will eventually be killed by emerald ash borer and will need to be removed. So whether you decide to treat your trees or remove them, uh, it's best to go with a professional arborist. Uh, they have the uh, equipment for taking down trees, which is a very dangerous job.